Hey, good morning, folks. Hey, I'm going to go do some crappie fishing this morning, but I'm going to help you guys from the bottom where I started with 2D sonar. We're going to see what we can do, and I'm going to try my best to help you guys. I'm shooting this video with a cell phone. One of these days, maybe I'll upgrade it, but for right now, uh, the cell phone's going to have to do the job for us. All right, guys, here we are. We're at the dam. And this time of year, you know, we're in pre-spawn. The water's about 47 degrees. So I'm looking at probably, you know, mid to upper 50s, they'll start moving up. But right now, I'm looking for pre-spawn crappie. Um, and you want to look at these big spawning bays, like this one here. And you can see the creek channels in there. I won't start this time of year with the water temperature the way it is. I'm going to start out here at the mouth and start looking at some of these places where that creek channel swings up against the bank right there. Especially, you want to make sure you got a deep bank. You can see where the contour lines are real close together over here. And over here on this side, uh, they're spread out. This is more of a tapering bank, and this is more of like a... Uh, you know a drop off or a bluff bank and that creek channel swings right up against it that's a stopping point for them crappie it's moving out here off the main lake off some of these ledges where they've been all winter long i'm gonna start here and i'll work my way back and, and it, they could be on brush they could be on lay downs they could be underneath some docks uh, whatever's in your area for now i'm gonna go run up this bank and uh and show you what I'm looking at. All right, we're over here on this deep bank I was showing you on the graph. And I'm gonna keep going down this bank until, until I find something big. Now see right there? That's a bunch of brush laying down there. And you can stop and fish stuff like that. You mark a waypoint on it and go up to your front graph, troll back up to your waypoint and drop down in that stuff. If you don't catch a crappie in a few minutes, get off of it. One thing that I could advise you to do is come out, uh, don't bring no fishing rods with you, you know, come out and, and learn your electronics and study your electronics and, and learn how to find uh, cover and stuff on your unit. You know, come out one Saturday and spend all day. Don't fish. Just come out and mark brush, uh, mark places to fish. And then, you know, Sunday or, or next weekend, come back out and fish them waypoints. See right there? That's a bunch of brush right there laying down on the end of that point right there. It's down there about 30 feet. You could put a, a waypoint on that, and, you know, and come and fish it later. All right, guys, we're on this deep bank. You can see there's a bunch of brush, lay downs, that sort of thing. Now right there, that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Some brush right there. It looks like it's got some fish mixed up in it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here and mark a waypoint on that. Then we're gonna pull up on that waypoint. I'm still over here, same section of lake that I showed you up against this deep bank. We're headed back over here to it. Now I'm gonna shut her down and get on the trolling motor. All right, I'm trolling up to the waypoint now. Should start seeing the brush here in, in a second. There it is. Start to come in the screen now. There we go. All right, I'm gonna lock down right there. Okay. Now this is the brush that we were looking at. We came up here and locked down on top of it. Let's see if we can catch a fish. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you what I use out here. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by nobody. So man, the stuff I buy it usually comes from Walmart or my local tackle stores. This here. It's a nine foot uh, crappie rod. It's real limber, super limber. I mean, it's as limber as a dish rag. It's, 
it's real limber and I've got uh, six pound uh, Mr. Crappie line you get at Walmart. It's just six pound test mono. And uh, I bought this set here. It come with the reel. It's just a Shakespeare reel. Um, this one's, uh, it's an ugly stick uh, for crappie. Like I said, it's nine foot long. I like a nine foot rod just because it, it's, it's so soft, man. When you set the hook, it, you know, a crappie shakes the heck out of his head, and if you got a real stiff rod, he can shake loose and, you know, come unhooked or whatever. These here, man, the crappie will stay pinned. This is all one man's opinion. It's just the way I do it, and, and I'm trying to help you guys. So you can do it different. Um, I've got some other rods on here. Like I said, these are cheap walmart rods this nine foot rod i think i paid uh maybe 30 or 40 bucks don't quote me on no prices but they're cheap um this one here i got at walmart in fact it's an ozark trail um it's a six foot i believe um no it's a five foot six inch uh, light it's real light action real limber um, you can see I've got a jig on there I don't do a lot of jig fishing but I keep one on the boat because I'm trying to learn uh, you know different techniques so I keep one on the boat uh, this is another uh, this is a crappie spinning rod I got at Walmart this is another one it's like 45 50 bucks um, it's five foot six inches same thing real limber rod now on it I got a slip bobber set up um, with a split shot on it a number two um, Aberdeen cam hook and I will use this for uh, fishing around docks and and even under docks I'll pitch it up by a dock and let the current pull it up under the dock um, you know, I catch them that way too. Uh, same thing with the jig. I'll, uh, I'll skip it under docks. And I catch a few crappie here and there with them, but I'm nowhere near as successful with a jig as I am minnows. And uh, some people's gonna judge me on it, but that's okay, that's okay. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Um, like I said, I'm out here to catch crappie, to eat, you know, uh, I feed the family, uh, I have cookouts with my buddies, and and when the time comes, I want the fish there. And if I have to put them in the boat with minnows, that's, that's just what I do. So one day, maybe I'll learn the jig game, but right now, um, I want to teach you guys the way that I come out here and catch them. So we're locked down on the brush. Um, we're going to drop down. I'm going to put a minnow on and drop down with this nine-foot rod and see if we can't pull up a crappie. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time catching fish today because today's about you and about me trying to show you how I catch crappie. And, um, you know, we, we come out here and, and started this off with a 2D sonar and I wanna go back. I wanna see if I can catch a crappie here and show you guys, you know, that, that this is the way it can be done if you just, you're limited on your electronics. All I got here, like I said, I had the six pound line, the Mr. Crappie line. I got a little split shot on here. It's probably a quarter ounce or something like that. We got a lot of current today, a lot of wind. So I'm using a little bit heavier weight. And then I've got these uh, number two uh, Aberdeen hooks. They're the cam hooks. I really like these hooks, man. They, uh, I hook more fish in the top of the mouth with these hooks, man. It, they just do the job. I love them. Uh, didn't start using them until last year. I always used just a standard uh, straight shank uh, number two Aberdeen. But these cam hooks, um, they really got me hooked, man. I love them. I think y'all will too. Like a good one. Oh man, look at 
Where the crow? Down, buddy. Look here. Look here. Look here, what a crappie. This is how I started catching crappie. 2D sonar, it's all I had. When I first started, I didn't have these helix, these big helix graphs, let's let him go. I didn't have these big units and this fancy electronics when I got started. You know, I went to, uh, seems like, the first thing I had, I had a small Garmin uh, depth finder. It was 2D sonar, it's all it had. And I had one on the front and I had one on the back. And uh, that's what I done, man. I spent time out here on the water. There's no replacement for time on the water and just learning how to use your electronics and trusting them. You got to trust your electronics, man. That, that was the hardest thing for me was to trust what I was seeing on my electronics. But hey guys, today's video is, uh, man, it's geared more toward the beginner guys. You know, I, I had to start out, you know, with pretty much nothing myself. You know, I, it, it can be rough. It can be disappointing. There's a lot of disappointing, you know, days that come out of it, but, uh, y'all just hang in there, man. Uh, you know, go get your, uh, Get your 2D sonar units and get them set up. I showed you what some of the stuff looks like on there. And uh, put your time on the lake, man. Go out and spend days on the lake. Um, you know, don't take a fishing rod with you. Just go out one day and say, hey, I'm gonna go out and grab this lake. I'm gonna find the brush piles. I'm gonna find the lay downs that, you know, are in the deeper water. And, uh, you know, go around and hunt and mark that stuff on your units. And, uh, you know, then the next weekend, go out and hit your waypoints. You know, pull up on them waypoints and, and find them on your, your graph on the front and drop you a minute down there and you'll find them productive areas, the productive places that you marked. You know, if you pull up to some of them, you know, you may not catch a fish. They might not ever be good, but if you fish them two or three times and you don't ever catch a fish off of them, you know, delete them if you want to, come back and check them some other time, whatever you want to do, but put your time on the water, you know, go out and find them brush piles. Places that I'm gonna look, you know, especially this time of year, the pre-spawn crappie, I'm gonna be looking outside the mouths of coves, you know, right on the main lake, right on the outside edges, you know, out of the mouth of the cove on the deep side. And, uh, you know, go check them areas. A lot of times you'll find the places where the banks fell out and, and all the trees fell off in the water a couple of years ago and it's just some big trees and, and logs and debris and stuff laying down there on them, you know, deep banks. And uh, the crappie will stack up there, man. They, you'll find them if you just look. And uh, it'll get a little bit easier as you progress with your electronics. You know, you start getting side scan and down scan where you can actually see the fish. And uh, and we'll talk about that in some later videos. You know, I, I've got plenty of time to do that with you guys. And um, like I said before, you know, this channel is geared toward helping people. You know, I want to, I want to help you guys. I, and, and I, like I said, I'm not a professional and, uh, the stuff that I do, you know, other people may not do it. This is the way that I've learned how to do it. And, you know, it's my opinion, uh, you know, of, of the best way to do it for me. So it may not work for everybody, but I can show you how I learned how to do it. And, uh, you know, you can do it too, man. Don't give up keep working at it um hey go like and subscribe to the channel uh, it's blue collar crappie share it with your friends let's try to help everybody we can I, i'm all about helping people you know i hate going back to the ramp my and and because i was that guy one day that didn't have no fish and you know i seen people you know pulling buckets full of fish at you know out of their live well stuff and and you know you you can learn this, man, I'm telling you. Just hang in there with it. I'm going to help you the best I can. Thanks for tuning in today, man. You, you guys have a good one, and I'll see you on the next video.